Oh, my wonderful woman of spiritually similar stardust, you burst into my life, gave peace to my internal strife, reminded me that I'm beautiful, asked tales of my wanderlust, cut straight through my old scars to my sweetheart like a knife. And though you fill me with a spectacular lust, I must resist and assist with your emotional creativity. For to be overwhelmed by this desire is, well, it's just not the height I'd like to reach of our mutual divinity. But my primal mind insists on a mystical physical harmony. Run my fingers down your spine, feel your heart, feel your veins. Overwhelm your bodily limitations with a blissful little symphony. Reach deep into your past, release your stress, release your pain. I'll dance along to your beat and accept your surrender, and beneath the sheets we will feel the heat of the stars. We'll meet our past selves, make them envious of our pleasure, remind the world that there's more to life than collecting trinkets and cars. The obvious ancient message of love, oft forgotten and ignored, it is senseless to impose on our fellow humans violent hate and scorn. I'm sorry the ideas of empathy and harmony leave many so bored, but those horrible fools we so despise did not choose to be born. Ah, uh, but again, my lovely lady, I've given in to distraction. For your lips, the movement of your hips, inspire my idealism. Waxing poetic again, wishing traction towards progressive action, I humbly beg this broken world to improve in spite of realism. Better, perhaps, to return to the sweet arms of an embellished embrace, nourish each other with sparkling eyes staring face to face. The pleasant touch of healing warmth will warp our minds into space, and together we'll create art to inspire and evolve the human race.